Hello, Cole Palmer sales leaders. This is Spencer Morris from Exactly. Ruchi had me go ahead and provide you guys an overview demo of our Incent platform, specifically the sales functionalities. So what I'll be showing you over the next few minutes is how the Incent platform can be leveraged to provide sales leaders and individuals with higher levels of communication, motivation, and visibility. So to start, right now we're looking at the sales dashboard of Incent from the individual contributor level. And immediately our goal here is to look at the visibility provided. We see all these little boxes, these small reports, which we refer to as pods. These are fully customizable depending on what metrics you want your sales contributors to be looking at. So in this example, the nomenclature is used are bookings, margins, and revenues, but these can obviously be customized to whatever Cole Palmer needs sales reps to see or what your team needs to see specifically. These pods can also be changed depending on the time frame that they need to be looking at. And they do provide small drill down information if you hover over them. As we look further into that visibility piece, reps want to know what their targets are, what their goals, but probably most importantly, they want to see how they're getting paid out on deals and why they're getting paid that way. So anything on the screen that we see that's a blue number is dr can be drilled down into. So as a rep, if I wanna go ahead and look at the commissions that I've been paid, I can go ahead and click and be brought to the detailed drill down screen. From here, I can see my deals and understand what rate I was paid, what the customer was, what the deal number was, and all the details that I'm typically not provided with upfront and my own accessibility. Now, from the drill down screen, reps are also provided with that higher level of communication that they typically don't have other than via email or going to someone's office. If I'm a sales rep and I see that on this Atlanta Journal Constitution deal, I was paid at 3.53%, but I believe I should have been paid at 5%. I can click in on this deal, understand what the deal was made up of, and then if I'm still not satisfied, I can go ahead and submit an inquiry. What this does is it allows me to route uh, an inquiry over to, in this case, we have primary admin listed, but for Cole Palmer, it can be changed to whatever person handles this type of inquiry. And then I have the ability to go ahead and say, change my subject to rate error, and then go ahead and leave a short message, message explaining what I need changed. Rate should be 5%. I can submit this, and with SLAs up to you, it will be taken care of, and it can be tracked as well for auditing purposes, as well as so as your sales reps know that their inquiries are being taken care of, which just goes to help improve trust and motivation across the sales reps as they know they're paid is being taken care of. Going back to the dashboard, as you can see, the visibility continues with more pods. As a sales rep, we're all highly com competitive individuals. We wanna see where we rank amongst our peers, or if you have competition going, competitions going amongst your organization, I can see where I stand against the rest of my peers and other teams. So as we dive in, I can see, this is where everyone stands at quota attainment. However, not all organizations want to have people's names specifically listed. We can provide whatever level of anonymity you'd like. So these can be left private and then we can include any other values that you see fit for your sales reps to be competing against and stacking themselves against with others. Now across the Incent platform, there's further method methods we use to dangle the carrot for the sales reps, keep them motivated, as well as keep them focused and not wasting time doing math on the back of a napkin, or really their own systems that can be error prone and just don't follow suit with what the organization is actually doing. So as you can see, we have a planned illustrator pod. What this allows me to do as a rep is see that if right now for my bookings commission, I'm at $9,000 and I've been, I'm at a credit of a million, I can go ahead and change this and say, well, what will happen if instead of a million dollars, I hit 1.5 million on my bookings? I can go ahead and calculate that. And I can see that that's gonna make nearly a $5,000 difference on my bookings commission. As a sales rep, it's gonna push me to work on my bookings further, which is also gonna drive some of your organizational goals and corporate priorities, getting those sales reps in line by showing them that if they achieve this, they'll be paid out an additional five grand. Now, as we continue thinking about visibility and how that can motivate sales reps, we can move into the Mind Incentives tab. 
which provides reps with a very detailed statement on what they're achieving and what their quarter or periods look like. So as I scroll down, as a sales rep, I can see my quota attainment across all the metrics that I'm being tracked on and I know what I need to work on immediately. I can go ahead and move into a full report, which really provides me with that line by line detail that I need to understand where I'm at, why did I miss, what am I, what am I tracking for? So as you can see, I can go ahead and look at my results by quarter, or I can look at it within the month and understand how my trends are performing and where I'm slacking if it's in the end of the month or at the beginning of the month. Another tool providing reps with further motivation in the Incent platform is our Incentive Estimator. Similar to the Plan Illustrator, what this allows reps to do is import opportunities from your CRM, bring them to Incent, and it will show them by bringing in a new opportunity, possible estimated commissions earned, as well as their past opportunities on their current commissions earned. Once again, this saves them time, keeping them focused on their opportunities by not letting them do this math on their own, whether it's in their own complicated Excel system they've created, or just doing pen and paper math, which is prone to errors slash may not be aligned with what the organization is actually calculating their comp based on. The last piece of this, as sales managers and leaders, I'm sure you're familiar with passing out your comp plans to your sales reps and then having to chase them down for it. Incent is complete with a workflow engine allowing you to route their comp documents and PDFs to them on their Incent platform so they can view their incentive compensation plans. They can provide an e-signature and then send that off, which allows you to track it and them to track where they're at with their documents as well as completely giving them visibility to these at all times. Next, I wanna show you what the Incent platform looks like from the sales leader perspective. As, we, as I said, we're in the individual contributor level right there. However, when we log in under this username, we'll be Barbara Wilson of VP of Sales. We're brought back to a similar Incent dashboard, which will be full of basically some of the same reports we've seen. However, these are at a more holistic level, including all the teams that would be under Barbara in this case. Now, we have the same ability to hover over, same information. We can drill down into incentive statements, get details, see where our teams rank, and all the other tools that we had at the rep level, just at a greater view. When we move into the My Incentives tab for a VP of Sales, we're provided with a similar similar view but Barbara can now see where she stands from a detailed perspective and get a holistic view of the sales organization in general. This allows Barbara to see those same trends and where performance might need to be tailored in order to hit her number and keep the organization on track. As we move into my teams this allows Barbara to go ahead and see how her sales managers are performing. So in this case as we click on a sales manager We'll be prompted with a similar view that we've seen before, but Barbara can quickly check up on what are her manager's attainments looking like, where are, their, where are specific teams trending, and if she liked, she can go ahead and break this down into sales reps and try and figure out where is there an opportunity or where is their best practices going on that can be improved and shared with the rest of the organization. Now, as we move into the reports tab, this allows Barbara to find, have some customizable reports that she can choose to view and add into this tab. In this case, if Barbara wanted to see what team rankings are, she can click into that and will be provided with several options on what she wants to see her team's ranking. In this case, we could go ahead and look at revenue rankings, which just allows her to understand who's performing the best and where can leadership get these best practices from and how can we coach some of these lower performers. When we move over to the document management tab, similar to the sales rep view, how I said they could handle their own document routing, they can sign it. Barbara has the ability to manage documents from here, the whole workflow process, including receiving and approving of documents, as well as customizing the messaging of all comp documents, letters, and track these documents and their status in one place. That's the sales view and some of the high level functionality of the Incent platform. By leveraging these views, reports, and dashboards, sales leaders have the ability to have more motivated reps with less wasted time, understand their team and individual performance with any level of detail, 
and follow these trends and data to lead them to higher levels of performance.